Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, is a running back whose name is going to be called tomorrow night to join the NFL. We do not know which lucky team will have him, but we do know his name will be chatted about. He is being talked about by all scouts as the blue chipper of this draft. If this was a previous era where his position was valued, he'd be the overall number one or number two because he's a rare talent. We still think he's going to get drafted really high because everybody seemingly loves him. So does Verizon, who he has partnered with with obviously this draft yeah. cycle because when he gets the call he wants to have a reliable network behind him ladies and gentlemen Bijan Robinson yeah, what's up dude how you guys doing hey we're great man listen I want to let you know that we thought this was going 305 Eastern we have been <laughs> so excited to chat with you because you seem like and this is what we've been told. Like, we're very thankful you decided to do our show today. Want to let you know that. Yeah. Because every oh, thank you. No, everything that has been said about you is like, this guy's the next guy. They're perfect off the field, perfect on the field. You like that, obviously, as you should. And whenever <laughs> you think about the draft and the way everybody's talking about it, like, well, nobody likes the running back position anymore. Maybe Philadelphia will take a shot on a running back at 10. What have you heard from teams? Because it feels like you're going to be a guy that's going to go very high tomorrow, and I don't think the outside world knows that that's going to take place. Yeah, I mean, just like you just said, I mean, nobody kind of really knows – you know where I'm gonna where I'm gonna end up, but for me, I just think it's just a an opportunity and a blessing. Um, you know that that God bless me to be here and to to be in, you know, the room with so many great dudes. But man, I know the, the running back position is is the thing that's talked about uh, right now, and and how, you know, how how you can take a running back and how high you can. But I mean, for me, you know, I just think that is a you know a blessing to even be in that conversation, and you know, for me to just be here, to be in the green room with uh, all those great dudes. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Hell, cool. yeah, hell yeah, you've earned it, by the way. Congrats. Yeah. And you're only getting started. You. You're only getting started at this point. What have the, oh, yeah. what have the yep. interviews been like? What are the questions? Because the running back position is being viewed as like a stable position because you're taking too many hits, you might get hurt. What are the questions that they're asking you about the future? Or are they mostly talking about what they think you can do in the NFL right now? Any teams ask you any questions about like the position running back at all? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the teams are like, you know, it's, it's pretty good that you're that you're more than a running back. Like you can do so many things for an offense, whether it's, you know, line up at receiver, line up at slot, um, and just be an effective, you know, mismatch for, for any defenders. And, you know, for me, it's like, it's pretty cool to hear that because, you know, in college, like Coach Sark, you know, he, he that's what he implemented in me, whether it's me going to slot and, and being just as effective as a, as a receiver, just as I am as a running back. But, I mean, that's what, that's what the NFL team see. That's what they keep talking about. You know, I mean, that's a good thing because it really does add value to the running back position, you know. And, I mean, it's it's pretty cool to, to even talk to him and, and hear, like, yo, you know, you can do so many things for, for our offense. You can do so many things for our team and the city. So that's that's where the conversation's kind of kind of been going, and it's kind of cool to hear it. You're a weapon. Go ahead, AJ. Uh, with, throughout the combine process and everything, speaking to all those teams, I guess, did you get any, any sense from any of these teams? Do any of them try to give you any information? Like, hey, man, if you're at – if you're here, don't worry. You're not going to go fall behind us because we want you. Like, did anyone – you don't have to mention teams, but was anyone specific with you like that? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, they, they definitely were, uh, especially, like, to my agent because they all talked to her. Uh, but, yeah, man, I mean, some teams were like, you know, if you're there, then then, then we'll pick you up. Um, Atlanta? It was pretty cool to hear. Philly? Uh, Philly? We'll, we'll find out. Raiders. We'll find out. <laughs> but uh, – <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like just, like, having that – you know, security and on the team, you know, really does want me. Um, they won't pass up on me. I think it's like a, a good, a good thing to know in the back of my head. Hell yeah, I was picked two twenty two. There's not a lot after that. I thought I was going back to school, Bijan. <laughs> Knowing that <laughs> somebody's going to draft you because of who you are is a great feeling, and you should enjoy yeah, every moment of this. You've talked about how cool it is just being in those meetings and in that green room and everything. I think you do have a real love for football. I read a story about it, and obviously you do. Like I feel, yeah, I'm good. You get it. I read a story. Yep. Your grandpa was a ref in the Big Twelve, allegedly. Cleo, I believe. Pac-12. Pac-12. I'm sorry. Yes. Pac-12. And then he would bring programs to you as a kid. You would cut the yep. players all out of the program, put them on popsicle sticks, and like run football games against each other. You're talking like diehard football fans since you were a kid. Is that an accurate? Did I read that uh, correctly? That is very much so accurate. It is. Yeah. He, so okay. So when he was in the Pac-10. Um, you know, he was a Pac-10 official for for 30 years, and then you know, Pac-12 instant replay for 10 years. But when I was younger, like 
after every single game, you know, he used to get the books. Uh, and he would bring them, like, I, I just, like, couldn't wait till he got into the house uh, and, and came in. Obviously, like, I was so happy to see him. But I asked him, I was like, bro, like, I was like, Dad, do you have a book? Um, because, yeah, I, mean, I, would, I would cut out the players and then put them on, like, I would cut out, like, um, like playing cards and kind of, like, glue them to them and then just, like, play games, like, in my head, like, imaginary against each other. But it, it was just weird. How old are you? How old are you for that? I was, uh, like, five, six, Damn. seven. Hey, now you're going yeah, to the I'll NFL, go. bro. Hey, let's go. Bro. Yeah. Let's go. You did yeah. it, man. You should be pretty excited about that. Connor has a question for I you. Am. Yeah, B. John, okay. have you reached out or has anybody reached out to you from the NFL, whether they're current running backs or former running backs, to kind of give you some advice and give you a lay of the land or for you to just ask any questions that you have about the league? Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, back in, back in Austin, I've been working out with, uh, like, Michael Parsons um, a lot. And, you know, he, he's been giving me a lot of advice uh, and, and what I need to do, what I need to prepare for, you know, whatever team I go to. Just, just look at, you know, find a veteran, find find somebody to kind of link with um, because that's the most important thing. And, you know, for him, that's what he did. And he saw, you know, what he needed to do in order to, in order to become successful. Uh, so just him giving me, like, those type of tips. And then, I, you know, I talked to, you know, like Marshall Falk. Uh, I've been talking to him a lot. Uh, you know, he's obviously a legend in the game, but, you know, he wants to make sure that I'm doing, the, you know, things the right way and just meeting the right people and, you know, making sure that I, I make sure every opportunity is is taken the right way. So, yeah, those are those are two dudes that I've been talking to a lot. Um, it's definitely a blessing to to get to get with those guys. Yeah, navigating the NFL life off the field is also something that I hope you continue to lean on veterans for because you, by all accounts, have a chance to be an absolute superstar in this NFL. And we're lucky yeah. to we're lucky to have you, man. Uh, at Texas, yeah, you were obviously a dog. You were the offense. Talking about you on game Thank day you. was hilarious. That was a fun yeah. thing to do <laughs> for a bit about yeah, you. Cool. And uh, it's it's one of those things that Texas brings you, you know, some cool things. Tone has a question for you. Yeah, I do. I, I saw that you're close and good friends with Matthew McConaughey. I also read that you yeah. potentially want to be an actor after the NFL. Have you guys worked on lines together? Sweet Have you read pick. any lines together? And how cool is McConaughey? Sweet pick. Oh, yeah. I mean, that dude is he, he's amazing, man. I mean, he's, you know, such a big brother to me. And, like, even when, when I go to his house um, and just, like, meet his family and chill, what? Uh, you, know, you know, we'll do what we'll happened? certain things. Like, Matthew McConaughey? Yep. At his house? You're just chilling at his house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What but, do you guys do? I mean, just That's you guys smoking dope. We'll just, we'll just, you guys smoking dope. We'll just eat. <laughs> we'll just con we, we, do, we do mostly like conversating, you know, talking a lot. Um, what are we talking about? What are we like, talking about? Holy shit. Take me in there. Where, where are we at? Back porch? Backyard? Good view? Good in the, in Well, the, like in the middle of the house, like good view. Uh, the, window, the window, you know, you, you see all of Westlake out there. Uh, oh, wow. He's got but we're just talking, we're talking about talking about life i mean talking about you know he'll, he'll give me like snippets of, right, of right, how right. he became such a literally that's it <laughs> and just how he became like a like a good actor um but yeah man i mean he, he's been supporting me since i was i mean since i first stepped on like stepped foot on campus uh and ever since then our, our relationship just kept growing and growing so it's pretty cool pretty cool to have was it. that before or after you got the lambo deal was that what you at the uh was it a lambo deal is that the proper one <laughs> yeah the, the Lamborghini, yeah, it was it was before, it was before, uh, but uh, yeah, even that deal, like that was that was cool, cool as well. I'd say, yeah, what, yeah. you just you were whipping a Lambo around Austin, like on weekends. Like people think I was just like driving it, just you know, put my head out the window. <laughs> but like people, people around Austin, you know, when they see the car, like when I'm at the stoplight, they're gonna like they kind of like look in the window, like is that him? Is that him? <laughs> uh, so I try to like to drive it like on weekends. Uh, you know, like some friends, take some friends into it. Cause, okay, so what? I don't know. It, it, it's so now. Are you gonna have a Lambo for the rest of your like? What do you think you do for the rest of your life now? Like, how do you get a Lambo uh, at the age of twenty? How old were you? Twenty one. Twenty one years old with a Lambo. Ooh, I mean, that's gonna be tough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like going <laughs> go back to the Toyota. That's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna be tough forever. That's it. so. Oh, yeah. You, are you with I Lambo mean, forever now, or are we just is this a lifetime deal? Yeah, yeah. I mean, smart just, idea. Just, just, as long as I'm playing, you know, and, and then, you know, relationships are such a big thing for me. So I've developed such a relationship with all those guys. And, you know, now we're just like family. So now they're like, whatever you need, man. We got hey. you. Wow. Good business, so, Bijan. Smart. That's good business. Pac-Man has a question for you. I read something okay. that Matthew said he, he could run for president. Uh, my question <laughs> to you, uh, do you think he'll be a good president and would you vote for him? 
would absolutely vote for him. I mean, that dude is just like so wise in, in, in the world and he just like knows what's going on. I think he'll be a great president. Hey, yeah, I, th- I, would definitely vote. I think you're going to be a great pro, pal. We appreciate yeah. you so Thank much you. taking time. Have you been doing interviews just all fucking day? Two days? How long? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Two days. Sick of it? Are we the, the last? Time. Are we the last one? Probably not, but no, I'm not sick of it. It's great. <laughs> you enjoy it. You enjoy every one of them. I do. I do. Does it it's, take it's your attention fun. away from tomorrow night? Little anxiety or no? It does. It does. It, it, it like calms me down a little bit. And yeah. it, it, we're all, we're all in the same element, so like it's fun. Yeah, because we're all just telling you how great you are too. Yeah, exactly. So that's good, <laughs> so good. You are. Which you are. Right? You. Is that what everybody else is saying? <laughs> do you and Gibbs know each other well, Jameer? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we grew up together. We grew up together. And then our coaches, like my running back coach now, was his running back coach last year. So, man, we know each other. Oh, yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's Hell, yeah. Well, good luck out there, man. Enjoy the whole process. You've earned all yeah. of this. And if you're a fan of him watching our Draft Spectacular, we're watching in person in Kansas City. Verizon has you covered. Verizon 5G now covers more than 200 million people Whoa. across the country. Plus, million. they recently made a bunch of network upgrades in Kansas City, part of one of the biggest network upgrades in the history. Shout out to Verizon. Shout out to you, Bijan. Good luck tomorrow night, pal. Yeah, man, I appreciate you. Yep, yeah. We'll see you guys. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, Bijan Ross. Yeah, Bijan.